Yeah, I need that shit. You use this on yourself. But we need guns. We'll take care of you. Like, we all need to have uh, guns. Yeah, just, well... Just the um, <coughs> Crap, okay, yeah, we all need oh, guns. Yep. Who in here Jeez. doesn't have a gun? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh take fuck. <laughs> Do you not have a gun, my guy? Is that is that it? Here, here, I got oh you. My I got God, you. it's hey, not much, and it is fucked up. But this is all I got for this on extra. All right, cheers. Probably gonna have to use it a couple times. Better than not having a gun, at least. No, I got you, dude. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. There's someone here. Huh? Somebody's here. Hello? Yeah. Identify yourself. Who are you? You gotta kill that zombie first. Zombie first. I shut the door. Okay. All right. Oh my Whoa. God. The wall, a 15-foot barbed-wired concrete barrier designed to keep the population of Iztec protected from the monstrosities on the other side. Once on the other side of the wall, fresh spawns would come into contact with dinosaurs, so dangerous it was unlikely one would survive without guns. Nobody knew exactly what happened, but after Project Blackpool, the wall gave. Parts of it caved in, allowing various entry points for the inhabitants of Iztec, but less protection from what lay inside. Our goal was to venture to the main gate and cross onto the other side of the wall. This way we could finally learn the mysteries of Iztec and Project Blackpool. But first, we needed to collect firepower, food, and survive just to simply get there. We thought we could team up with a small number of Iztec inhabitants to stand more of a chance against the dinos and whatever else this place threw at us. The dinos were fast, ferocious, and big. There were hundreds upon hundreds of them roaming freely on the opposite side of the wall. We could hear the roars of them as they stomped towards impending prey. We could hear the gunfire erupt knowing the death that followed. We sometimes even heard the faint screeches of creatures more vile and vicious than the dinos that were rumored to live in the caves of Mount Iztec. However, there were living beings that gave us even more trouble. The other inhabitants of Iztec. The mere presence of others wanting to know what happened with Project Blackpool creates a chaotic adventure that barely sees us on the opposite side of the wall. This is that story.
What? I'm not trying to be mean. We're already we're pretty the, fucking We're the new pink arm man, people. boys. <laughs> Hell yeah. Needs, uh, who needs shotgun ammo? I do. The guy with the shotgun. Okay, you have the leader of the group was eccentric, wild, spazzy, and not much in control of his own emotions, let alone our group. But me and Toledo were rookies on the server and knew it was best to team up despite an unnerving feeling about this crew. From this point on, he will be known as the Chief. Yeah, you have the shotgun. Okay, look, I got uh, this is all I got on spare for shotgun because I got a double barrel. So That's I good. These eight, twelve gauge rounds right there. I got them. You good now? You yeah. All right. So we all have a weapon. At least we can verify for that. No, who's that? Oh, holy <laughs> shit, dude! Oh, dude. <laughs> We're talking about PTSD, dude. <laughs> hey. here, bro. I was like, all right, just get in here. Fuck. Just get in here, so we. Uh, hey, I'm. Yep. There you go. Cheers. And you said your blood hasn't gone up at all? Yeah, it's like it's saying it's going up, but it's just flashing. It hasn't? Okay, yeah, so, uh... Does somebody want to stay here with him while I take somebody with me to go to the hospital? Maybe we can find him a Celine bag or something? So yeah, I'll stay here since here. I got a fucking shotgun. I stayed in the house with the Aussie who kept passing out from blood loss and another member of the group. Toledo left with the chief to seek out medical supplies at a nearby hospital. I'll, I'll stay. The one on the ground. I got a, uh, I got a pistol. Yeah, you, uh, yeah you, you come with me because I got a shotgun and a pistol. You and me will be okay. I stayed in contact with Toledo through Discord in case anything went wrong. We just couldn't trust his crew. And that's when the Aussie started to go batshit crazy. I'm cooking human steak. It's good. It's disgusting. Tastes nice. It's a good meal. You're a psycho, dude. <laughs> My, watch your, yeah, watch I'm your here. Legs, dude. You're crazy. The Aussie's mental state was drifting off the deep end, and the other member of our team in there wasn't helping things. Whoa. That was acrobatic. <laughs> okay. Are you break dancing or something, dude? Yeah, yeah. I went on the right side of the building on the upper floor. Spinning around and everything. None of this made any sense. Chief left me alone with a cannibalistic Aussie who would continuously pass out, and a member of the crew that placed a bag over the Aussie's head up. whenever he was unconscious as some sort of cruel joke. I attempted to play along, but I knew something was off. Alright, I'm right behind you. Are you punching me? Dude just fucking- the dude that- hey. The dude that just fucking passed out, he just knocked me out with a sledgehammer. You heard me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm watching this guy. Hey, buddy. Hey, what the hell, dude? What are you doing? Hey. He just fucking you killed me. Problem. He just fucking killed me. Your bre- your- your buddies are fucking killing my buddy over there. Yeah, the one that passed out is the one that killed me. I don't know about the other one. Do you, my gun is down, but we need to talk. Yeah, but we, he, I don't think he had anything to do with that. Because the other okay. dude, the okay. other dude kept covering his head, and I'm just yeah, like, whatever. He's talking to me right now on Discord. The other dude kept covering his fucking oh. head. The one is this guy good or what? I respawned not too far oh. from where I was killed. Toledo talked to Chief and they decided to terminate the Aussie who just killed me. And then my buddy died, and then now you come back, and I was just like, okay, what's going on? Dude, he has my fucking shotgun right now, by the way. Okay, so now the guy at the house has. Like I said, I have trust issues, but okay, I'm right behind you. Right, I collected some minor loot and met up with them shortly after. The guy who killed him is dead as well. Okay. I think you're on the safer side. I'm right outside. Yeah, yeah, that was him. Yep, yep, yep. 
Coming in, I'm outside. Alright, come in. Are you in an orange jacket? Yeah, orange jacket. Yeah, yeah, that's our buddy. Hold on. See you. Me. Me. Yo, bro, listen, listen. I am so sorry. I did not know he was going to do that. I met him like five minutes before I met you guys. Oh, oh sorry. This is your shot. Oh, there is another one here. Hey, yo. Hello, guys. Bro. I get that shot. Yeah, yeah. How can I help you, man? How can I help you, man? You've been shooting? You've been shooting, guys? Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, who, who are you? Meet Rick, a.k.a. Hans. Hans was a short-tempered Eastern European that took himself way too seriously. He had some awkward honor code that he verbalized early on, but Chief liked it, and Hans would be added to our team as a replacement to one guy who had to log off. I'm a fresh here. I just spawned and I heard someone shooting up here, and that's all. Are you a pink, are you a pink armband guy? Wait, did you have a no, pink no, no, armband? No, no, I just spawned. Guys, I woke How'd you up. Die? I you just die? woke up. I just woke up and came into the game, guys. <laughs> woke up. I just woke up. There's been some weird shit going on, man. L shape. L shape. Okay. Look, 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 look. We don't. We, okay. Look, no, we're, look, good, look, we're, good, we're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Listen, listen, listen. Take your shit, bro. You're good. I'm sorry. We've had some very back fucking trust issues from last minute. Just take your shit and go, bro. I'm Trust sorry, me, just, bro, just... I believe that, but I'm just looking for a team, you know, I want to go in the dive for like, you but this you can't survive this sort of shit. Yeah, well, the last couple of guys we thought were our fucking friends just decided to fucking try to kill all of us, so... Yeah, fuck them, they're pussies, man, that's why. We are not all the same. <laughs> yeah, I want them. Some men have moral <laughs> codes between men. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I... yeah, yeah, I like your conviction. I, I don't... Bro, I'm a little confused as to why... So why that guy just randomly fucking? What's your name? Your name? Look, look at Say it again. Say it again. I could tell you why. Rick, Rick, Rick. What he's got on him. Rick, Rick. Yeah, but. Rick, are you Rick, willing? Are you willing, are you willing, are you willing to take, willing a, man's to take a man's life? Look, after I, I'm gonna be in a team. I'm go I'm willing to take anyone's life except my team's life. Oh, that sounds so good. So there is a decision are getting made by, are made by <laughs> the team. If the team says we keep this guy, we keep this guy. If the team says we don't, we don't. Okay, I I kind of like him. I kind of like him too. Yeah. Oh, no. oh. I was look, gonna I take look, your armband. You and me. You can take the armband. I, I just need. Do, I I definitely feel we should give him a shot. And I mean, there's five of them. He smokes one. It's true though. Got a gun. We can just drop him. Yeah. We can't we can't split up anymore though. We can't do the splitting up shit. Okay, dude. Yeah, that Take was a this. fucking bad idea. Uh, All right, we're staying together. If you do anything silly, silly, there are there four, of us, four of us, five of us. But uh, okay, you got okay, this. You got You're, in now. You're in now. I love okay, black listen. armband. And it was at that point the black armband crew was formed. With our new squad, we head down to the water's edge to fish. This would hopefully fill us up for the long journey past the wall. I got, I got ropes. <laughs> Alright, uh... Oh, I had a rope. What the fuck did I do the rope? See, I told you this is a spot. Like, we just get here, cook, fish, cook, fish. And we'll be set food-wise. And... And water-wise. I mean, people are lazy to fish, you know? That sounds close. That's... Yeah. No, for some reason, not a lot of people come down here. That's in the on the other side of the wall. I couldn't have been more wrong with this statement, but it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. And at this point, Hans took it upon himself to venture down to the beach, find a fishing rod, and Chief coincidentally ended up lagging out. Guys, no, no matter what, wait for me. I'll come back. All right. I think he'll come back. Probably not. Look at him just run off into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's the last we'll see you. The black armband crew was reduced to two members. 
Oh yeah, he said he lagged out. Oh wait for him. those fish that you just caught they're on the shore i'm gonna cut this one there's one more to your right oh fuck somebody's here somebody's here somebody's here hello hello Boys. You good? You good? Who's this? Why? Who's this? Are you guys? Are you good? You good? You could have got the black armband. I had on that on before. Yeah? 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 Are you the one that killed are you guys me? From the place? Yeah, you're, are you the one that killed me? The Australian guy that, that kept passing out? I'm cooking human steak. It's good. His silence told me that revenge was a dish best served next to a fire at water's edge. Uh, uh what? Motherfucker. Make sure you, I think he's dead. We were turning into cold-blooded killers that was derived from the echo chamber the chief spoke inside of. There was no going back now. We couldn't trust anyone. Let's just hope we didn't make the same mistake again. Yeah. Let's cook this fish. He ain't gonna make it back in time, dude. Alright. I'll stop fishing now. Hans came back and Chief was able to log back in. The vulnerabilities we showed while separated feared us, and we knew that our strength came from not only our unpredictable nature, but our bond. We decided it was time for us to put the pressure on the other inhabitants of Iztec, so we headed towards shots we heard coming from the well. Oh yeah, it is a blue well. Got your gun out? Yeah. Okay. Up here. They're on the water, they're on the water. Who's they? Is that the house. inside the house? I'm on the other yeah, side. We're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're in full fight mode. On the other side of the greenhouse. They're in this building. We estimated that there were about two guys held up in the greenhouse by the well. Well that's fucking times. Somebody's dead over here in the back. Yeah, it's not him though. They're in this building still. when Toledo came up with a brilliant idea, perfect for the predicament we were in. Down right, down right there, go in the house. I'm in the, uh, I'm in the red house right now. Go in the house. He told a freshie to go in first. I sent a freshie in there. Fuck him up, freshie, fuck him up, freshie! Door. 
Are you in there? Yeah. They shoot me? Yes. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, he got me. God damn it. <laughs> they got the door. They got him. Right, left of the door. Right, left of the door. There's two of them. There's two of them. Yeah. Are you Are you still alive? I'm good. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh, he's alive. Fuck. Fuck yeah. Come in. Come. We good? We good? Hans, come in. Where's he at? Is he still in here? Something in us broke. Toledo using a freshie to gain an advantage. Chief and I blasting in the player at close range with a shotgun. Our minds were slowly becoming consumed by death. A part of me reveled in the conquering of the other inhabitants of Iztec, but watching as Chief stood over several dead bodies with bloodlust in his eyes, while just around the corner Toledo laid on the ground barely clinging to life, didn't sit well with me. After that fight, something told me we should avoid the area, and we headed down the hill to recover in a nearby house. Ultimately, we ended up back at the water well because we were all dying of thirst, and things were about to get worse. A lot worse. Yeah, the, the other two are in the. Uh, yeah, yeah, over here. They're over here. All right, I'm heat buffed. Right, I'm, I'm ready to get some water now. Water now. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah, we're rolling. Are you ready? <laughs> Guys, ready? <laughs> yep. We gotta, I'm gonna go fill my canteens one more time before we get. Yeah, I gotta get some gotta water. Get water. All right, let's do it. These guys are up here again. Just fucking smoke them. Smoke them. Yeah, and whoever we see. Damn, he's whoever we see. Try not to smoke me, guys, again. <laughs> you got pants on now, so we're good. Hey, just remember, we did have that team down there by the statue of the, the fire. Somebody in this building here. Okay, let's just let them know we're friendly. One's in the building on the left. There is a fire. There is a fire in the house. Anybody left? Yeah. Hey, friendly, 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 friendly. We see you in the house. Friendly, friendly. Wait, somebody tied up. Yo, who's in the house? Hey, hey. We're just we're just getting water. All right, we're not gonna mess with you, man. He's nice. He's a. Uh, it looks like a freshie. It looks like a freshie in there. Brian is closed. Why is there? There's somebody in there. Hello. Yeah. Hello. He's just Ryan is closed. Yeah, he's, good. he's good. He's he's. he's up. Yeah, he's good. Hurry up and get some water. Our man's in there fucking flaming the fucking freshie. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice to have yeah, yeah, he's in there fucking. I decided to check on Hans in the cabin with the freshie because something didn't seem right. Damn man, I just got sick. Oh, whoa. What the hell are you shooting me for? Why are you, you good, shooting you good? me? You good, you good? Oh, oh, he's right. Got him. He's dead. Only that wasn't true. And amid the chaos, nobody knew what the hell was going on. <laughs> Who's that? You good? You good? Wait. I think he took his hey, shit. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? I'm about to shoot him. He's shooting me. That's him. That's him. That's Shoot him. Fuck, I'm dead. 
He took his clothes and then killed him. Hans, in a fit of rage, decided to start arguing with the freshie inside that cabin for God knows what reason. All I knew is that when a player ran out that looked like Hans, being chased by an unclothed person, I shot the unclothed person, assuming it was the freshie. But it was Hans. While alone in that cabin, a struggle had ensued, and somehow an unclothed, unarmed freshie was able to knock Hans out for talking too much, steal all of his clothes, take his weapon, and kill two of us. What the hell was Hans thinking? After dying, I immediately ran back to the point of contention, the water well. We were so close to making a run for the wall, we couldn't just leave our gear there and start fresh. When we got back, tensions were high, as Chief was able to kill hey, the guy here. that duped Hans. Me. Me. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Don't have PTSD. Bro, he, that guy's saying that he took he, that, that, that guy that he took, <coughs> took his loot and then fucking started killing him. Yeah, because see, I thought. Yeah, and I shot you because I thought it was him. We left the well area to meet up with Toledo. We made a path that anyone we saw from this point on was to be killed on sight. And we honored that right away. I'm not leaving you. Yeah, okay. Somebody. Yeah, I think that might be him. I don't know. Is that him? I take it that wasn't him. No. He's God got... damn, bro. Hey, stay the fuck down. What the fuck are you, dude? Stop coming back alive, motherfucker. I've shot you 30 fucking times. Alright. As we headed towards the wall, the real chaos was about to begin. We are like three hours inside this fucking. Let's be the. Where are they? Where are they heading? Where are you guys going? I thought we were going to the wall. The only way to get there, take it. Hey, um. Chief's bloodlust was now in plain view. He started chasing shots anytime we heard them. Making it past the wall was lost in the pool of his thoughts filled huh. with death. Might be about... Now I kind of know. Is that him in the fucking supermarket? No, there's somebody in the supermarket right there. Somebody in the supermarket. Front door. He's going out the back. Somebody in the back supermarket. <coughs> yeah, he's getting aggroed. He's over here, guys. Over here. He ran out the front. He's in the She's front. hunger for death made him take even the craziest of shots. Yeah, he's out front. No way. I did not hit that. <laughs> I think I just hit that. Really? I thought to myself, that shot was impossible. And if Chief landed it, then he was going to go batshit crazy. Just like the Aussie did earlier from yeah. eating human steak. If, if I hit that, I... Oh, I did! Oh, my God! <laughs> Just like with the Aussie, none of this made any goddamn sense. What the fuck was going on? <laughs> you saw it? <laughs> oh, he fucking was eating human. Yes, yeah, yellow guard, yeah, fuck yeah, this guy made us, made our day, guys. Um, oh, people, 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 people on the right, people on the right, people on the right. Oh, who are you? And that's when all hell broke loose. Are you your friend? 
Zombies are gonna aggro. They get you, my bad. Did you guys get him? Our shouts were attracting a lot of attention, and while we were distracted looking for this freshie in a building, hell snuck up behind us. He's in the building here. When the bullets started to fly, I was hit from behind and couldn't tell if it was a person or a zombie, so I tried to create some distance. Fuck, dude, did you get dead? I'm still alive. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. He's still. Weapon? He's still shooting. He's fighting? That's me. That's me. Oh. If there's one thing I know about DayZ, is that if a zombie's next to you, but run somewhere else, I can't tell who's who, he isn't dude. running after a ghost. I'm seeing black and white. <laughs> But sometimes, ghost or no ghost, the zombie's Man. chasing after something you can't let go. If he's in this building here. I'm prone out in the backside of the building. Who's looking here in sight? It's good. Fuck, I got him. Fuck, he hit me with a. I got him. What's someone I'm shooting? Is that one of us? No, I just shot one of them. I killed one of them. But I'm fucking bleeding. I killed one. He tried to hit me with a fucking pitchfork. Can't be afraid to lose shit. <laughs> you just need 45 rounds, right? I got some. Sounds like they killed them all. Alright. They alive? Yeah, we're all alive. Oh, that's, is that you out there? With the red <laughs> yeah, hat? Yeah, I got 45 rounds. Okay. Yeah, let's get in this building. Them so guys, we... those guys right. fucked my shit up, dude. I can't, yeah, After one... things died down, our team didn't need an absurdly loud after-action debrief from Chief. We needed warmth, shelter, and a yeah, safer, defendable one. position yeah, so all of us could good. recover. All right, just just follow me. Follow me. Come, come, come. Up top. Yeah, I agree. Go. I'm, I'm right behind you. Oh, yeah, he was up here. See. This is a good yeah, spot. This is a good yeah, spot. It, I'm stuck. Uh, oh. Oh, God, I thought I heard somebody shooting. Just wait up here. Is everybody okay, though? Because I tried killing I'm them good, as good. fast as I could. I didn't know if anybody died. I felt bad. No. Oh, yeah, this is a good spot. Good spot. Yeah, I need yeah, my fucking blood to go up. Blood to go up. Those guys that were there started shooting at somebody. I didn't know if they killed one of one of you guys. So I no, they're shooting at me, dude, dude. I was fucking, I was fucking bobbing and leaving, dude. I'm like, I'm fucking out of here. I'm so glad you did that because I shot that one guy in the head and killed him off the gecko. And then his fucking butt buddy took one and I shot him. Put your voice in the scale. Yeah, put your, you put your thing all the way down. <laughs> yeah, start whispering. Press down on the arrow button. Oh. <laughs> Should probably close that. That oven. Oh the yeah, because the light. <coughs> yeah. Should Someone close that oven. That oven. Someone close the that recovery oven. of our team was taking forever, and the combination of Chief talking, us shivering, and our fire emitting light that could be seen from miles away was sure to attract others to our position. Even with all four of us, we were in no shape to defend ourselves. 
so. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I could. The guys that I killed, I didn't have any space for. So. I'll go check it out. You sure you want to do that right now? It's not. Uh, <laughs> oh, and I've actually come to learn this. If if you guys have a glow stick on your chest, take it. Somebody's reloading out there. Somebody's reloading gun outside. Okay. I don't use glow. Somebody's walking through the bushes here. of Hans once again reared its ugly head in at the worst moment. <coughs> His foolishly timed question ensured that the players running around below us were not going to stop till they found whoever they heard talking. I'm into the car. <coughs> and even Toledo was getting frustrated. This guy has no chance. <coughs> we're all fucking coughing, dude. He's across the field. Hey, look out the window. Look out the window. He's on the field to the left. Look out. <coughs> He ran across from right to left. You probably see him. Jesus. He's he's running around below us. I hate him, I didn't kill him. Yeah, he's running around below us. And to add insult to injury, Chief, due to his overconfidence gained from the ridiculous shot that he made earlier, decided to fire a shot, missed, and exposed our position. I knew Toledo and Chief were barely in yellow health. This wasn't good. Up, Go ahead. I advise you don't though. He's right outside the door. There's literally nine of us in this room. <coughs> okay. Your choice. I guess if you want to come up in here, my guy, do it. They said I guess you you only live once. But why not make it short? One thing was for sure. If me and Toledo made it out of this alive, we were gonna break ties with this group. They were a complete mess, and this wasn't what we signed up for. Is he talking now? Mm -hmm. Because when I heard him talk. Before they ended him, Chief gave one last battle cry. Oh! Fuck! They got me. They fucking got me. How the fuck did they do that? Fuck! All three. All, it was two. It was two or three. Ah, that that might have been uh our doing. <laughs> There's so many dead bodies up here. <laughs> Flies. Damn, dude. Everything's kind of ruined, so. Fuck. As the flies hovered above our deceased corpses, I began to reflect on those we killed without remorse on the island of Iztec. Some of it was well deserved, but most of it was ill-advised, rushed, and brought without justification.
The revenge I sought from the early death I received from the crazed cannibalistic Aussie feathered its way into every reaction I had on this island. I knew me and Toledo needed to move on from Chief and Hans, but I began to realize that they weren't the problem. It was me. I could only blame myself for all of the times Toledo died. He needed protection, and I failed him on numerous occasions. Maybe this was karma for the innocent lives that I took. I had to make it up to him. When we joined the server, we joined with the intent of getting past the wall. And before this journey ends, I needed to ensure that happened. I know where we're at. When me and Toledo respawned, we quickly looted our gear from our dead bodies and made a beeline for the wall. And we had a plan. If we ran into anyone else, they were going to die. We weren't taking any chances with anyone. Dude, I didn't hear it. And then it's like, oh, oh shit, those are wolves. It's weird how it was a delay. I think as you're maybe closer. Like the rain I think there. it was, I just, the game glitched so much. I just. We had finally made it to the wall and anyone who stood in our way was going away. And we meant anyone. We kind of figured out where we were once we got here. I don't even have that map anymore, dude. Yeah, I still got it. And then we were able to get to that military. Oh, person, person. fuck person. We can spread. Let's spread a little bit. I'll take left side. Yeah, I still see him. He's running. That dude's out. He is oh. fucking. I still see him, but he's fucking. He's slowing oh, down. Dude. He's hiding. I'm gonna act like I don't see him. I see him in the fr on my right side. All right. Right near right now. Are you Got him. Got him. He's he's down, but he's not out. Come take the second shot. Cause, never mind. Nice. Nice one. You kill a fresh one. You're not fresh. He's trying to say I kill a fresh spawn, but he's got fucking a silencer, chicken, an FX, Shit. fucking scorpion. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here, fresh spawn my ass. Is this you? Fuck. Oh shit, dude. That's somebody just ate What I didn't me. realize at the moment oh, was that the person off. who snuck up on us, not only was he the teammate of the guy we just killed, he was able to kill Toledo. Yeah, somebody just ran up on me. Yeah, I heard him running. I couldn't live with myself if I didn't get Toledo's gear back, so I circled around in an attempt to flank this guy. And when I got back to the area, I saw two guys by a fire, cooking. I knew what I had to do. Is the rocks fucking... the fire's on? Got both of them. You killed them both? Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, what are you Where did get here? And just like that, it's we were in a better crazy. position to get past the wall than we were before. We looted their gear and finally swam around the wall. And we are fucking lucky on that one. Well, you are. I fucking you're, But you still have most of your shit. Gapping. This was our moment. Our first time making it past the wall. We now had a chance to discover the secrets of Project Blackpool and find out what happened here on the island of Iztec. <laughs> we distance ourselves further from the chaos that engulfed Chief and Hans. Not only that, our friend Drew was logging on, 
and he joined us through Discord so he could experience this with us while he waited in the queue. Then we have fucking power over there. The promise I gave to Toledo was kept and his deaths were not left in vain. Having him alongside me for this journey was what created the journey. His death gave me purpose. I wasn't proud of myself, but I was of Toledo. He never gave up and kept coming back. The bomber jacket goes hard. Yeah, it's a nice scope. It's a park, but it's green. Like oh, you got a winter park? Oh, that's what I use as a winter park. That's what I got right now. See the fucking scope. Oh, let me see in the vicinity. It's all right. You hear that? What? It's like a roar. Are you fucking douche? <laughs> fucking scared the shit out. You hear it? No. Sometimes the sound doesn't like play for one person than the other. Like whenever those wolves attacked. Toledo wasn't going to let anything stop him from going forward. There's a car down here I want to go explore. Oh no! What? What's happening over there? I died. You died? Unless he was at a cliff's edge. Oh my, bro. Are you, this is, you gotta We're gonna have chill. to renegotiate your contract. Yo, out of all. There was a trailer down there that I wanted to loot. <laughs> well, it, looks like it, I'm in it, this it, by, like... I'm, I'm in this by myself. <laughs> Man, you just got the bomber jacket. What the fuck? <laughs> it just got your jacket. I look so cute. Fuck me, God. man. <laughs> And just like that, I was alone. Over there to explore, and I didn't even die to anybody. I, di I died to fucking fall down. In Daisy, we always start off alone, and sometimes that turns into an epic journey. But more often than not, we end the journey alone as well. Oh, you're dead, dude. And in Daisy, your journey is governed by Murphy's Law. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> For those who don't know what Murphy's Law is, it's exactly what happens next. You right now. Uh oh. Did you just save him? The fucking. <laughs> wow. But it's not always the last thing that happens. Oh my god. Did you die too? I'm pretty much sure. I mean, I'm out, but a raptor fucking knocked me out. I hit it with two shots. That's not fucking enough, obviously. Let me get the fuck back. Yeah, you're right. The fucking stab fest. Let me get the fuck. I hear it run after me. Add that clip.